Casino Kid, Sofell, 1989. Another casino sim game. Like I mentioned in my Caesars Palace review, these games used to be a little more popular back in the 80s and 90s, before real online gambling became a thing. And to be completely fair, this game is actually based off a manga titled The Million Dollar Kid by Yuki Ishigaki. So it's more of a storytelling game and less casino focused. Oh god, that was horrible. I seriously thought my screen was messed up for a second there. Why did they do that? Why the terrible shaky transition? So they present some kind of goal here at least. Win at poker, win at blackjack, and then face the real challenger. And already this is a little easier on the eyes than Caesar's Palace. We have an actual character to control and navigate with, as well as other NPCs to interact with and talk to. I assume a lot of this lines up with the manga it's based on. Later, buddy? What the hell? I didn't even say anything. You can't really read Jack's face. Am I supposed to remember that? This game has some RPG-type elements in its presentation, controls, and random dialogues. Am I supposed to be collecting this information about players to use against them? I'll assume that might be the case here. It would certainly make things a little more interesting and fun, as opposed to the normal bet-and-win-fake-money. So let's see who else we can talk to. I'm pretty. What the crap kind of useless dialogue was that? Is this how people in the late 80s conversed in casinos? Oh, hello, I'm rich. Hello, I'm tall. Hello, I'm funny. Hello, I'm handsome. So it's obvious a lot of the dialogue is filler, but every once in a while I get a line that looks like it might actually be useful information. You can't rely on Pam's expression. I guess I play Pam at some point, and knowing that might be handy. Alright, finally I'm playing something. So I'm playing some blackjack, win a few hands, I'm ready to go. Final hand. I can't accept it. You can't accept it? What? You can't accept me leaving? I don't think this is how casinos work. I can get up and leave whenever I damn well please. You can't make me bet money. So I play a few more hands and I win. Can I leave now? I can't accept it. Well, what the balls? This is becoming a bit frustrating. I want to play other games. I'm in a casino for shit's sake. So finally I win all of Lisa's money, which makes no sense. She's the dealer. She's the house. She has all the money. Whatever. So now I can finally leave when the game tells me I can. That's pretty asinine. So I wander around and talk to some more people and find out I need to talk to Martha, apparently. So the game isn't really a free-for-all style of playing any games you want, it purposely sets a course for you. So the game really does play out with an RPG feel. You navigate a dungeon, encounter NPCs with advice, face off against an enemy where you have to defeat them before proceeding to the next, but in this case, you're in a casino. So being based on the manga, the casino aspect of the game is actually more of just a piece of storytelling as opposed to being all that you do. So if you look at it with that mindset with the RPG elements, it's actually kind of fun. 6 out of 10.